always count on what he was going to get from him. Never an issue with attitude with him. Thornton looks inside to Miles Plumley, rejected by Leslie. And the quickness on the NC State wing giving Duke problems. And there's the three ball coming on the other end. Beautifully done by Alex Johnson. Well, and now we talked about how, how important grad students have been this year around the conference. And as a backup point guard, he's had a terrific year on just 30% from three, but good early confidence. A grad student from Cal State Bakersfield. Got his undergraduate degree in broadcast communications. Working on his masters. And uh, Duke 0 for 5 to yeah. start the game. Looking for a field goal of any kind. Two and a half minutes gone here at Cameron. Leslie from the elbow. Wood on the offensive glass. Good feed to Leslie. Can't convert. Howell lost it on the way up. Last touch by Duke. Veteran officiating crew, Les Jones, Tim Nestor, Mike E. Well, this is a great feed inside, but a good recovery by C.J. Leslie. And then coming down, and a lot of times, especially against Duke, the best time to knock down a three is in transition when the defense is a little scattered. Lorenzo Brand looking to feed Wood out of bounds. He's knocked out of there by Tyler Thornton. How about this? Duke fans have heard this before. Michael Snare with the three ball at the end of the game to provide the margin for Leonard Hamilton's club to keep Florida State tied with North Carolina atop the ACC. Duke with a win would keep the three-way tie alive tonight. And Florida State comes to Raleigh on Saturday, so a quick turnaround for both teams. That game will be on the ACC network as well. Oh, the bank is open late. Lorenzo Brown. Uh, he's having a terrific year. Not known as a three-point shooter, but... Uh, from the day Mark Godfrey took over this program, he said, you are my point guard, let's go. An 8 nothing start for the Wolfpack. Just over three minutes gone. And finally the answer, and it's Josh Hairston, who Coach K was uh, commenting on to us when we met with him prior to the game. He's really been proud of the way the young man's played. Well, with an expanded role, he's become much more of a leader. We saw him go out during warm-ups and uh, introductions to get the crowd going, but... Gets them off the stride offensively. That's an offensive foul charge against Richard Howell. Yep. Those are the ones that he has to stay away from. There are going to be too many opportunities, but right there, lower side. How about the Josh Harrison making the play on both ends of the floor, coming in and giving them a lift emotionally? I remember talking to uh, Roy Williams prior to the Virginia game last week, Mike, and commenting on the Harrison Barnes charge late in that game. That's something you always have to be aware of as an opposing team to Duke. You cannot go barreling into the lane as a big man. They will collect that charge every time. Well, the Plumleys are shot blockers. Everybody else will step in and take the body. Leslie, a little short with that one. Thornton comes out of there with it for Duke. Kelly on a blow by against Leslie and he's rejected. That's a matchup that NC State likes. Mark Godfrey told us today, CJ's got to guard Kelly. I believe he just did. Wolfpack have a six point lead to open this game. Haviland defensive shield, Mike. He's uh, defensive, the three-point shooting, 27%, number one in conference games, but NC State's gotten off to a quick start, two or three. Well, that alley-oop for the slam was right there, and Miles Plumley clanked it. Now one off the front iron for Rivers. Here comes Johnson into him. Nice little floater. The veteran senior, by way of Toronto, and Cal State Bakersfield has been a factor with five early points for NC State. And nobody really start, stopped the penetration. Nobody picked him up from end line to end line. And this can happen to a team that relies so heavily on the perimeter jumper. Blue Devils are now one for 11 from the floor. Aaron pass by Johnson picked off. That's the fourth turnover committed by the pack. Good vision by Dawkins that time, getting his head turned going back and anticipating the long pass. Cook into the game, feeding Mason Plumley over Howard. Just nothing there. And the thing is, NC State making Duke miss and also cleaning up on the glass. No second chance opportunities for Duke. Again, for those of you that may have just joined us, 
Mark Godfrey's team out to a great start. Seth Curry, also an injured ankle, has left the floor and has gone into the locker room. I'm sure they're checking out just how badly that sp sprained ankle is sprained. Wesley is rejected. Howell with the follow, and he's fouled by Miles Plumley. Everybody on that block shot, you've got to hang in there like it's a rebound. And uh, Duke was breaking out before they had possession of the ball. Good job by Howell to stay in the play and get to the free throw line. Now, one thing to consider, Mike, if in fact Seth Curry is uh, is really hurt and will not be able to return, as much as they depend on the three, that's one less scorer for Coach Gale. Rose captaining for ACC basketball is provided by Bo Jangles. Famous chicken and biscuits. It's Bowtown. Oh, it looks like uh, the training staff worked this magic, and it's good to see that uh, Seth Curry back out on the floor. He made it quickly, didn't he? It's almost as if he was wired for Saturday. Well, and his brother Steph has had it, uh, ankle injuries and, uh, and the history of that. And, but uh, you look down, it looked like a lot worse. He's kind of testing it out right now. We'll see how much lift he's got in that jump shot of his. Oh, it's, but he's like his dad, he, he doesn't need much lift. I mean, he just he, <laughs> That's he true. got up. He, he plays a little bit low to the ground. River has lost his dribble, but Miles Plumley there to pick up a little garbage. And he puts it in off the glass. 11 to 4, NC State. Well, Austin Rivers is the one guy that they've got who can do something off the dribble from the perimeter. And he was looking for Plumley on that play. It wasn't a great pass, but he got where it needed to go. Johnson working on Cook. A little pick and pop that time. Deshaun Painter just into the game. And the back down. And they're going to stay with, when he's screening, they're going to stay with the guy coming off at an extra counter to they'll, uh, they'll really challenge Deshaun Painter to try to knock down jump shots. C.J. Williams is sitting with two fouls. Howell also on the pine for Gottfried. So his front line now consists of Painter and Leslie. Curry with the floater. Ooh, the iron on time to Seth Curry. Back again comes North Carolina State. Oh, Lorenzo Brown just lost the handle for a moment. Johnson, ooh, what a look to Painter. And he uses the glass. That was an outstanding passing display by Johnson. Well, he shows a lot of quickness out on the floor. Breaking Duke down off the dribble. That's a net of shot that Mark Godfrey much more comfortable with with Painter in the paint area. Cook from downtown. Leslie. Boy, he is quicker to the ball on the low block tonight than anyone in the Duke uniform early on. He is gobbling up rebounds. Johnson, another nice delivery. This one to Leslie. In traffic, well defended by both Plumlee and Kelly. Well, Kelly coming in late that time for the double team. Rivers, the scoop to the hoop. Rejected out of bounds to Duke. Plumlee, Thornton. And Benajay coming in for the first time, number 13. And Mike Krzyzewski going very deep into his bench early in this game, just looking for some scoring. And this communication about who is to come out, Austin Rivers is the last man off the floor. It's been a while since uh, Michael Benajay has seen playing time. Fulton operating at the point now, giving it to Curry. We'll see what he's got with that ankle problem of his. Curry spots up. Not there. Howell comes down with it. Now Wood. Numbers three on two. Brown finds Johnson on the wing. Boy, Lorenzo Brown and Alex Johnson, an extra ball handler. Two point guards out on the floor at the same time, but you get a shooter out there. State now three of four from three. Mason Plumley with a nice dunk under move against Payne. His first basket. Only three for Duke so far. Brown just a little too quick with that pass. But Godfrey's really got to be happy with the play of his reinforcement to men and score. And, uh, you know, we, and you brought up the point about this team maybe sometimes letting its offense get to its defense. Yeah. 
And uh, NC State just shooting under 50% in this game so far. So this really could not have played out any better for Mark Gottfried in the first nine minutes. Alex Johnson picked up that foul against Curry. I think it's safe to say that uh, Seth does not appear to be the same with that jump shot since he left the game with that ankle injury. You see the three point uh, 0 for 7 so far for Duke, 3 of 4. Two of those by Johnson coming in. Alex Johnson's been terrific. NC State will live with Thornton taking those threes. Rivers along with Thornton, Seth Curry, Hairston and Mason Plumley, the five on the floor for the Blue Devils. Mason with the jump hook. He did a really nice job a week ago facing much taller timber than NC State's front line against North Carolina with a couple of those jump hooks. He went to the left hand with one. Well, I think that's the key thing, too. I mean, we talked about putting pressure on NC State up front to defend, and, uh, the, but also having to finish inside. Uh, Williams, yes, and a foul. Thornton picks up the personal. Boy, outstanding entry passes being made here. And Mark Godfrey trusting his senior in uh, C.J. Williams with two fouls to come in and play. Beautiful pass inside. Oh. I think if you ask if you ask Sidney Lowe that he made a mistake in not naming Lorenzo Brown as his point guard earlier last year. His father Wendell looking on. CJ Williams is dead. He makes every game from uh, Georgia where he now lives. Had been in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hairston with another whirling dervish in the lane. Well, I asked Mike, uh, not certainly as athletic, but a kind of guy like a Lance Thomas. And I, I think this team desperately needs that. And he is, he's really been, in, he's been an energizer, and he's been a leader. Brown off the curl. Rebound taken by Rivers. He's got numbers. Four on one. That's an offensive foul. Krzyzewski doesn't like the call. I'm pretty sure he didn't like the decision either by Rivers. Well, I just do two bunched up on that break. Everybody close together, so much easier to guard. And I, you know, it looked, it looked like Rivers trying to jump sideways, and I don't know that Johnson was fully committed to take that charge, but got the call. Don't forget, coming up Saturday, either Florida State, North Carolina State, or Maryland and Virginia on the ACC Network. Johnson again a great find. Boy, the vision he's got while in flight, feeding CJ Leslie. Leslie very quietly putting together a nice game. Uh, he shot the ball well, but rebounded some blocks. Deep into this game in the first half, Duke has yet to go to the free throw line. Boy, that's a cheapy from Howell again. And those are the ones that he picks up that yep. drives Mark Godfrey crazy. Yep, that's the second foul. And both of them were the kind that you could have easily done without. One was a charge where he dipped his shoulder, and then that one on the reach out 30 feet from the basket. You're going to have enough to have enough opportunities to bang people inside with the Plumleys coming at Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Curry, a little stop and go over. Johnson used his size to his advantage, and it's 21 to 12. First bucket for Seth. Mom looking on. Leslie in traffic. Rejected by Plumlee. Stays with it and gets the prior to fall. He wanted the harm as well. No whistle. He's got six. 15 to 10 advantage on the boards right now for NC State. It is working on Williams. Remember, he's playing with two fouls. As is Howard. Kelly. Fouled by Leslie. His first. Well, Ryan Kelly not starting but playing starter minutes. Averaging over 12 points a game. Really high basketball IQ has improved every single year under this coaching staff. Former McDonald's All-America, but somebody that really did become a much better and stronger overall player from last season to this season. Oh, the ACC is more interactive than ever. 